Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday and I'm going to do some more work on the engine. So first things to do, I've managed to get some recommended silicon sealant. I've cleaned up the inside, the rubber on, the, on there, give them a good wash. Uh, as you probably saw on the time lapse at the start of the video. Uh, so I can put these two together and then mount them to the bottom of the engine. Unfortunately with my engine crane I can't just flip it the other way up because I'm limited with bolts. So what I'll do is I'll take it down and carefully place it on the floor to screw it back on. What I need to quickly check online is somebody sent me a link um, to all the bolt sizes and torque settings which I need to find. Because at the minute, for example, this has got 18 screw heads on it. I'm trying to figure out which combination of the screws I need. I think I've figured it out but I want to make sure obviously before I proceed with it. So um yeah, I'll put you on time lapse. I'm going to do a little bit of research, but you'll see me applying the black silicon. Not something I've done before, but I've watched quite a few videos on it on the best way to do it. So you employ, apply a bead around the edge and then use your finger just to make it sure that it fills all the edges from side to side. So, uh, yeah, and then we'll put them together and we'll, uh, we'll screw them on. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. So, pretty big balls up, like to be honest, on this channel, and I'm sure those in the know, as they saw me fixing this on, they would have probably known that you need to put the main pan on first, because there's two screws here, which you can't then get to the head bolts if you don't put that on afterwards. So, everything I've done today has almost been a complete waste of time. So, what I'm going to do is I'll clean this up and put that one on, and in the long run, I'll have to come back and take this off the cover and we RTV it and put it all on again. It went pretty well, to be honest, but I'm a little bit annoyed about that. So at least I'm gonna put the main pan on, knowing full well at some point I'll have to take that off and then re it back down. But these things happen. Uh, I should have perhaps done a bit more research into it or remembered how I'd taken it off, but as it's my first time doing it, I'm not too annoyed. Um, now counting up the bolts, that's making sure I've got all the right ones here hold this onto the bottom of the engine. I've torqued these all up to spec, so I'm just going to check the torque settings for this one. I'll fill this up with RTV again. And then we'll put that one on the engine so I can feel as though I have achieved something today. Um, so yeah, let's, let's crack on and do that before I go meh. Okay, that's the engine back on the stand. I just spent a bit of time going through making sure there was quite a mixture of bolts on here, but I've gone through and made sure these are all correct. I've ordered a water pump gasket for 11 quid official Ford one. Uh, so that should arrive in the post this week and then I'll talk this up to spec. I need to check, need to check the torque settings for these, which I haven't done yet. But the oil pan's on. Uh, as I said, I've messed up in the fact that two of the bolts I'm not gonna be able to do until I remove that again. So I'll do that at some point. Not in the mood to do it now. Also located all the bolts for the cover. Um, I've recently off Alan, shout out to Alan, who sold me some parts. He sent me, sold me this car cover. 270, I think my other one was perished. It was all falling apart. But he sold it to me for a really good price. So shout out to him for that. Um, I'll check the make and model on it. But it's a really good quality one. Obviously an outdoor one. He also sent me, he basically sold his racing Puma and he's selling off a load of the spare parts he's got, of which he had a lot. So, uh, intake manifold gasket, which is quite expensive, which he sold me at a good price. So, what I can do is now do the matched inlets. So, I can hold that up and mark them across. Uh, he also sent me the exhaust gasket, which is what I'm doing now. I'm lining it on to where it'll be and then I'm going to use a scribe in a sec to sue see how much of this I can cut away at. And it looks like there's a fair amount. So uh, this is this is obviously matching the exhaust 
uh, to the exhaust gas gasket. So there's quite a lot of meat to come off on that. So I'll line this up perfectly and scribe that and then I'll make a start shortly, which is what you'll probably see me doing. This is the gasket that was on it. It's like a single one, whereas you can see the actual four genuine ones are a double one, so it's less likely to leak. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that in a second. You'll see me lining this up, scribing it, and then making a start at cutting it out with these. I still haven't got a valve remover tool, which I need, so I'll have to be careful when I'm doing the cutting now not to go too deep, but it'll be fine. I just want to make a start, as I said, scribe and make a start of doing that. Uh, so that the gasket can go. What else is there to mention? Uh, oh, he sold me a genuine Ford Racing Puma exhaust tip. Uh, so the one, I don't know where my exhaust is. I think it's under the car, so I can't shoot it at the minute, but it's got some massive, horrible can on it. So uh, it might mean that it's quite loud again for track days. So we'll have to assess that when we come to it. But I'd like the Ford Racing Puma standard one. So that he sold me that, which is great because they're hard to come by these days. And what else did he sell? I think that was about it. So, um, yeah, there's plenty of other bits for me getting on with. I'm going to use the scribe now, which I've bought and previously mentioned in another video. Mark this off, scratch it. And, uh, yeah, let's see what see what damage we can do there. I don't want to be making any more mistakes like I've done today already. But that comes with doing it for the first time and perhaps not doing as much research as I should have. But not to worry. Let's uh, see what else we can crack on with for the rest of the day. So, how's it going, the first porting session? So, I scribed it up, and you can see, it might be a bit hard to tell on camera, just a second. But I've made a start, and it does eat away and it quite quickly. I can see how you can easily make a mistake if you're not careful. So I'm just taking off as little cut as, as I can as possible at the moment. Uh, just trying to get the open in the same size, and then the idea is to make it exactly the same size as the outer circle there, inner circle there, sorry and then make it as smooth as possible transition down into there and as far as you can go really if i got some longer um length shaft on that i could actually cut in a bit deeper so i'll probably look at getting um some longer ones than these as well but if you compare the one i've made a start on if i hold it up so it's lined up you can see that it's pretty close to the scribe line already but if you compare it to another one here you can see the overlay can you see it there? So there's a good few mil to be taken off. If you look at these ones, to line that up exactly, there's quite a lot of meat to be taken off that one as well. So yeah, first impressions of, of this, it's it's not that difficult. I'm sure it's really difficult to get it perfect. And I'm sure it'll be, you know, if you're not careful, you can end up making it worse and perform less, uh, you know, than it is a standard. So. I've just taken off the meat on this outside edge. I'm not going to grind too much. I'm just trying to make that flow as smooth as possible. And then you have to get some different type ones, which have got like a sandpaper on the end of it, which will just shine them up and make them a bit smoother. So as you can see, there's a lot of cuttings in there. I really probably shouldn't be doing that with um, the valves in, but I don't think it's going to harm them. I'll just be careful when I remove the valves. So I'm going to crack on with this and let's see uh, how good I can make this. Well, as long as I don't go further than the gasket, I don't think it'd be too bad and just go a little bit steady on the inside. But yeah, so far so good, I think. So uh, I'll keep cracking on and see how we can get this to come out like. <laughs>
So another little update, um, a few things to mention actually. So all the videos I watched, apart from the fact they said always wear safety glasses and probably should be wearing ear defenders because it is really loud once you start doing it for a while, is you must, but the other thing to note is you must keep the tool moving and really and let the tool do the work, not you if you're with me. You hear that saying all the time with this type of thing, but you can understand why that is the case because if you try and force the tool it then cuts too much of a chunk out in one go if you like so if you just glance over it it's almost like you're not going to touch it and keep repeating that process you get a much smoother finish but i think you can see that already i mean i can't quite get down further into there i won't want to go too far because i won't want to risk damaging the center bit the port there in the middle so i'll get the sandpaper ones and just smoothen this off there but as you can see already if you compare it to the other ones it's really hard to see and even in the good light i've got in here let me put my phone on you can see you see what i was saying about the lines you can see it started cutting in so i just need to smoothen that out but the opening now is looking really good if you compare it to the others other than the fact that they're all blacked out in there you can see that the opening's a lot more consistent on the outside and that the wall along the side is a bit more consistent it's taken off all the roughness now what i'll need to polish it as i've mentioned using this sandpaper one but hopefully that's coming through on the gopro um so so far yeah i'm really happy with how that's actually coming out if i put the this over here now you'll see that the opening hopefully you can see on camera is pretty much bang on especially if you compare it to that one you can see there's a load of meat on the bottom left hand side there that all needs to come off i'll try and line it up a bit better than that you can see there's load that comes off and on here now you know i'm no expert at this at all and i was a bit worried about taking it on myself but as long as you're not taking off too much and all you're doing is smoothing it out uh, then i can only see that you are going to get gains i'm by no means really professional and from what i've seen online this is the right approach to be taken so i'm pretty happy with what i've done there i'm not going to start taking too much off because i know if you start taking off this too much on the inside here and too much on the air it's right the battery died on me again but anyway yeah i'm happy with what i've achieved let's put the light back on that one more time I'm going to get the polishing one and clean them up a bit, but I'm really happy with the outcome of that. I'm going to call it a day for now. Relatively happy with what I've managed to achieve, other than messing up the oil pan. Lesson learnt there. Try to remember what you did when you took it apart, so you don't put it back on wrong. Um, but for the few hours that I've managed to be in here today, I'm happy. Got lots of little niggly bits done. So... Um, yeah i think that's going to be about it sorry it's going to be a bit of a short video this one and not actually much going on i think that's going to be the way it's going to be for a little bit now especially when i come to start prepping all the pal panels because that's just going to be the the job on repeat over and over so um yeah as you can see this is still not quite stripped just finding to be bothered to do it i think that's the main thing and yet again i'll mention it again because i do it every video it's a damn gearbox so yeah we'll see but for now i'm gonna leave it at that it's my first day of porting so uh there we go but i'll uh, if you can remember to like the channel and subscribe if you haven't if you're enjoying the content i hope and um next weekend or hopefully in the week i'll find some time to come out back into the garage and finish off doing these three in order the sandpaper things to polish them up and then i'll have a look at doing the inlet side because as i showed you earlier i've got the intake manifold gasket I'm going to try and match it to these. These are already look really rather, it looks like, in fact, they might have already been done or at least a certain way in. So I might just polish them up a little bit more to make them smoother. But that, that the rubber seal on that will fit in there perfectly. So hopefully that line there will match them nicely. And then I'll just do the same on the other side. Just give it a go, I suppose. But yeah, that's it for now. Remember to please like the channel and I'll uh, catch you again soon. Cheers.